Sherp allows me to work year round, no matter what the conditions are, no matter what the temperature or weather is doing, whether it's minus 40 and windy or low visibility, you can always always find your way to a job site to, to, to rescue someone or pick someone up. Previously, uh, trying to get to job sites, you know, we're destroying pickups and uh, ATVs and in the winter time uh, trying to haul fuel with snowmobiles and in the morning you go into the job site, it's good and on the way out the water's opened up and it's a little bit sketchy getting home. In the winter time there was no ice to get there so we were running water on snowmobiles to get to and from work and then I got a Sherp and it made life a lot easier and uh, safer. So the Sherp has been an uh, a awesome tool that has expanded our ability to get places, to get there quicker, uh, safer, get there faster, and to bring more equipment with us. Um, you know, Western South Dakota is unique in the fact that we have hills and mountains and water and flatlands and the badlands, and so there's so many different types of terrain that a track vehicle can't do it all, and a wheeled vehicle can't do it all. So, uh, we have to plan when we go out on events, with snow events or not snow events, what vehicles and what uh, equipment to take. The Sherp answers all those questions in one machine. It doesn't matter what the train is, it doesn't matter how much snow there is, it doesn't matter how rocky or how wet it is, the Sherp can go there. And that's time saved, which means it could be life saved. So currently, uh, I, I live uh, remote being a boat access property, so I can only get there by hovercraft, boat, or snowmobile. So jobs we do are all on, on the opposite side of the river, so they're all by boat or hovercraft or sherp. Or, um, so we build custom boat houses, cottages. Um, so I, uh, I live remote, I've lived, this is the 14th winter, so I've experienced some difficulty getting there at certain times of the year, so that's why I went with the Sherp. I use the Sherp to transport uh, my personnel to the job site. Um, I, I do fly a hovercraft, and that hovercraft, the weight capacity is minimal. So the Sherp, uh, last year we used the Sherp to, to build a cottage, and we would have four guys in the Sherp, along with myself, tools, and we would fall through the ice, climb out the other side, and go into it and, and continue the construction of the cottage. So the, the Sherp, what it did for me was it bought me two weeks at the beginning of the season and two weeks at the end of the year. So I actually can, uh, we can work on jobs that are remote for, for additional weeks of the year. Like I say, I live remote, so that comfort of safety, um, knowing that you're gonna get home safely and not go through the ice is the most important thing. One of the main advantages of using a Sherp uh, is the ability to traverse um, willows, um, mud, um, combinations of mud, water, trees, the inaccessible areas that a boat can't travel or is unsafe to travel in, shallow water, um, snow, ice, deep snow. We had a, a jet skier uh, that had broke down on the Missouri River. Um, he ran out of fuel. The, he was able to swim it back to a shoreline, but he was far enough away from the land that he wasn't able to walk back safely or traverse the property or traverse the land back to a safe area. Having the Sherp has been a real uh, lifesaver for our constituents and our population in Williams County. Uh, with this type of terrain, uh, there aren't any vehicles that can access this in this way. So it, it's really helped out the uh, population of Williams County. If you've ever been off-roading and you've ever been in a sticky situation that you just can't get out of, uh, you get that heart-wrenching feeling that you're going to lose your machine, you could potentially be trapped in the woods. Owning a Sherp, that disappears. You get the warm, fuzzy feeling that you're going to get in, you're going to get out, and introducing people to the Sherp that have never been in it or been part of that environment before 
they're out there, they're stranded, and then they get in, it's warm. They usually have you know, some drinks or some food in there for them. Uh, and just being able to assure them that they're getting home is probably one of the better feelings because we're able to get them out of the woods very quickly and they stay dry and we're able to get their asset out of their machine out as well. So the types of projects that we do with King Boss Quad is we run a ton of off-roading events every single year. Uh, there's not a lot of venues here in Canada, particularly here in the Ontario region, where you can grab your quad and just go off-road and have fun with a bunch of people in an organized event. So what I do for people is I put these events on all over uh, Ontario and I just make them organized so people know where they can go, it's a safe environment, and quite honestly, there's going to be something at the end of the day that's going to be able to pull them out of the woods. Sherp Sherps rents out Sherps with the driver to companies that need to get into the swamps or backlands that no other piece of equipment can get to. They use a the Sherp for getting the people in and out of hard to reach areas. The industries our clients are in are power line companies mainly that, we, that we've worked with in the past. One of our clients uses a Sherp to haul five passengers out to hard to reach areas in the Mississippi backwater. The nice part about the Sherp to get the hard to reach areas is that you can traverse open water at four miles an hour, get back on land, keep continuing down at a better speed. 